Call him Sim. Sim. Yeah. No, Sim. <laughs> Sim Tong. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Patrick will guide us as long as uh, we doing our trip. So this is not Patrick's phone book. It's only Mr. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> you can call him Patrick, no Mister. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we've just landed in Indonesia. We've been given a very warm welcome. We're being taken to our hotel now. And then we're going to relax for the rest of today and probably most of tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow evening we've got the opening dinner. So yeah, it's been a long flight, a long three flights in fact. So we're going to go take a nap. Wow, I've been in Indonesia for about 24 hours now. I've got two weeks left. Um, but this last 24 hours has been absolutely amazing. Jakarta is probably the most diverse place I've ever seen in my life. The city is divided up into two parts. You've got the old part and the new part. The new part is very modern. It's uh, constantly under construction, but the old part is very interesting. It's influenced by the Dutch still, which is who Jakarta or Indonesia rather gained independence from. And the interesting thing is that the older generations in Indonesia and Jakarta more specifically are still very Dutch. A lot of them speak the language fluently um, and they've also carried across to the the newer generations a lot of the older words like they eat panikuk and they call it panikuk. Um, <laughs> they talk about parkir which is parking your car, same to parkir as in Afrikaans. Uh, they eat pofirkis which as Afrikaans folk know and love very much. Um, and there's a postkantur, which is the post office, which you should keep an eye out for because one of my challenges set out to me by the waking crew has been fulfilled from a postkantur with a postcard. <laughs> Got a little bit of a healthy glow going on here today. It's called a humidity of about 80%. <laughs> We're in, I think I'm getting this right, Mordecai Square, which means freedom. And if you look at the back, that's their national monument, uh, Monas National, as they've just told us. It actually represents male and female. The bottom part being the goblet is female, and then the top part is male. <laughs> if you look at the very top, that's apparently pure gold, pure, pure gold. So we're taking a tour through a very humid, very hot uh, Jakarta this morning gonna learn a little bit about it about the history and then hopefully get back into some air-conditioned rooms <laughs> speaking of do's and don'ts for Indonesia you definitely want to do comfortable but you also want to do very light clothing it is incredibly humid it feels like you're sitting in a sauna hence uh, lovely skin this morning <laughs> This don't is especially for the ladies. Don't be offended. <laughs> the, the guys uh, might lick their, lick their lips at you. 
Don't be offended, it seems that it's an average thing here in Indonesia. Just uh, smile and wave. <laughs> Indonesia's first president, who was Islamic, Sukarno Hatta, built this mosque literally across the street from the uh, cathedral. And he did that with purpose. He did that to show their tolerance of other people's religions. Nothing was that. They're very tolerant of the Buddhists, the Islamists, the Christians. They all blend in together. Jakarta is divided into two places, the old part and the new part. We're going to take a tour down one of the streets in the old part at the moment. And the old part is basically still very Dutch influenced um, as it was before independence. So let's go have a look. in mid-air. He does admit it is a trick. He says he's just here to entertain us, but he won't tell us the secret. <laughs> okay. So, dearest waking crew, you gave me a whole list of challenges. I'm about to go for one of them. I'm going to send you a postcard with all my love from Indonesia. <laughs> you speak English. One postcard. One postcard. Oh, please. What would the Dutch word be for the post cantor? Post cantor. Cantor post. Cantor post. Cantor post. Cantor post. Cantor post. So we're at a cantor post. So one postcard is 10,000 rupiah. Yeah. And I have a 5,000. What are they? If you give this, the one here is 5,000. 5,000? Sorry. 10,000. Yeah. Anne can't do her math. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to post my postcard in a Brieven post. <laughs> Can you write for me in okay. Indonesia? Okay. Waking crew. Yes. Okay. Hello. I need a stamp for Namibia. It goes to Namibia in Africa. Stamp? Do we still lick stamps? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs> I haven't done postcards in a while, okay? We're on email and WhatsApp these days. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Another one off the list. The um, humidity is no joke. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been about 80% today um, and most of yesterday, which means that you sweat a lot and you're going to develop a serious love-hate relationship with sunscreen because you can't go without it. But the more you wear, the more you sweat. I've never sweat as much in my life. Um, the smog also makes the sunscreen and the heat thing quite difficult to bear with. The smog is actually so bad that uh, last night when I watched the sunset in Jakarta, it goes down to halfway through the sky and then it literally just, just uh, disappears so what they've done is and this is no joke I promise they've put up these big TV screens massive massive TV screens all over the city which shows residents what an actual sunset looks like so that's interesting um, very humid as I said very air pollution -y, uh, a lot of smog but man are you missing out if you uh, if you never see Jakarta it's, it's an incredibly, incredibly uh, interesting place. Very tolerant uh, people. 
they've got different types of religions. Um, a lot of the people who live here are Muslims, some are Buddhists, and a very small percentage are actually Protestant Christians. But yet they are so tolerant of each other and so peaceful. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm about to uh, eat fish, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but for me it is, I don't eat fish, but you know, when in Rome, do you like the Romans? I'm having satay lilit, and satay form fish. She's going in places, somebody that doesn't know Kama Sutra, you're very, your, eye, your eyesight is very abstract. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Peanuts and chili. Very good. is done and dusted we are now heading to Yogyakarta and amongst others we're going to do Mount Merapi there which is heading up to the volcano with jeeps we're going to see a silver uh, craftsman taking it from the raw silver up into jewelry and lots and lots and lots more it's very exciting next time on Anne explores wonderful Indonesia